Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn how to insert a node at the beginning of a linked list. Here function add first will insert a new node at the beginning of a linked list and we are passing the value of new node to the function which will be stored in variable val. Now suppose our linked list is empty, so head equal to null. And now we are going to insert the element 10. So val equal to 10 here. And first of all this malloc here will be creating a new node for our new element. And we know we have two parts for a node in a linked list. The data part to store the value and the next part as the reference to the next node. So a new node is created at address 1024. Now add the value 10 in the data part and since we want to insert our node at the beginning, it should be inserted immediately before the head. So the next part should point to the head, but head equal to null since linked list is empty now. Now the new node is created and make it the head of the linked list. Now the head will hold its address 1024. Now let us insert another element 20 to this linked list. So now val equal to 20 and the malloc will be creating the new node and add 20 at the data part and next should point to the head and head is at 1024 so next equal to 1024. So 20 is pointing to the head now and now make 20 the head of the linked list and it is at address 2024. Now let us insert another element 30. So val equal to 30 and malloc will create a new node and add 30 at the data part and next will point to the head. So it will have value 2024. Now make node 30 the head of the linked list and it is at address 3024. So that is how we insert a node at the beginning of a linked list. So create the new node, make it point to the head and at last make it the head. Now let us relate this with a train. So we know we have an engine followed by a number of coaches in a train. So let the engine be our head and the coaches be the nodes after head. So let this be a node with data and next or link part. So suppose we have the train empty. So a new block A is added so make it the engine which is equivalent to head in our linked list. Now let us insert another block B that will become the engine. Now insert another block C that will become the engine. Now insert another block D that will become the engine. Same happens with linked list in this case and whenever you add a new node it becomes the head. So that's it. Now about the time complexity. Since we don't need any traversal we only need to create and make the new node head. The time complexity will be order of 1. So thank you for watching the video and to execute more such programs please visit the link in the description below.